Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a macro that uh, my new mentor, my new friend wrote. Uh, it's found at communitycoreldraw.com, share Eskimo, and it's called AORP. It stands for Adjust Object Retain Positions. And this is pretty cool. And uh, he's got a little video on it, but I don't think he's figured out how to set up a microphone yet or something. And, um, but you could, let's say you, you don't know the size of that square, you could get char characteristics from selection and that's, that's that, that square is five inches big. Well, let's say you wanna make it two inches, you just hit two and hit the center and it went two inches from the center. Same thing here. We're going to get characteristics. This is 2.5. Let's make it four from the center. So the block is still in the center. And that's what's so cool about this. This is five inches, but let's make it two. But we want it still to be on the top left corner of this other rectangle. So now you got a two inch. But what is unique about this is that you can select a bunch and change them, let's see how big they are. They're 1.64. Let's select them, let's just get that out of the way for a second. Get that out of the way. Let's select all these circles, and we know they're 1.64. Let's change them to two, and hit, and they all made them two inches, and they're exactly where they were before. And there's some stuff in here I haven't even played with. I just downloaded this this morning. And, you know, you could change, take this off and just change the width. And you could do that inside of Corel Draw. But this is pretty cool that you could do it on all the objects and select a bunch of objects and change them all. And you could change the preference from, like if you have this thing to, uh, Let's put it in the top left corner of the box or top left corner of your page. And I don't have snap to on, snap to pay. I do have it on. It ought to snap right to that page. And it did. But let's say it's, this thing is, well, let's change it back to a, a ratio and make it five. You know what, let me do start over and draw a draw a rectangle, have it have it snap to the top of that page and get characteristics. And it's a two point. That's pretty good. I'd almost drew a five point. But let's say we want to make it six inches, but I still want it in that corner of the page. Bam. It's right there. This is pretty cool and you can play around. So I will have this link. And we want to thank him for doing this. He's made several uh, macro videos, and he's also very helpful. He's, he's helped me out in some career situations. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.